Hello again! After my Windows XP benchmarking video which focused mostly on the Maxwell lineup of NVIDIA graphics cards went out, I realised I hadn't really covered what you need to do to get the majority of them working in Windows XP. I think I just mentioned the use of hacked NVIDIA drivers and moved on. So to cover that, here's the problem. You've just built your shiny new old Windows XP system and you go to install the drivers from the website thinking maybe the 960 drivers might work, only to find out they don't. These drivers cover the GTX 950 and 960, but nothing higher. Now, the 970, 980, 980 Ti and Maxwell based Titan cards can be installed using these drivers as they're from the same family of cards. We just need to add them to the family tree as it were. So this is what happens when using the regular installer. The PC boots up and the hardware wizard immediately wants the location of the drivers for installation. We cancel those messages and go to install the drivers. It unpacks to a local directory and looks for a supported GPU, but you get a message saying the graphics driver could not find compatible graphics hardware. This is where the modification comes in. I'm now going to try installing the drivers with my 980 Ti card using the drivers I have modified. As you can see, we've already moved further than from just using the installer as now we have installation options. I normally go the custom route and deselect NVIEW and the GeForce experience, and then on clicking next it asks for confirmation for the driver install, and then afterwards the same for the HD audio driver. A short time later it finishes and suggests a restart. That's it! Once your PC is rebooted, you're good to go, and all your old games should play as you'd expect. So what do you need to do to modify these drivers? Well, I've saved you the effort by including a link in the description to a folder on my Google Drive where I have both the unmodified NVIDIA installer and a zip of the same driver package once it's been tinkered with. Just save that down, unpack it, Pop it onto a USB stick and transfer over to your XP machine. Open the folder and run the installer. If you want to modify it yourself though, this is my suggestion. I'm assuming you have two PCs, your Windows XP machine and your regular modern Windows PC. On your modern PC, run the installation of the regular driver install until it fails, and then go to the folder it unpacked to. The default for this will be C drive, NVIDIA, Display Driver, 368.81, WinXP, International. In there you will find the Display.Driver folder, and in that the nv 4 underscore file, which you will need to open in Notepad. Now you just need to know what to put in there and where to put it. To find this, open a new browser and Google something like GTX 980 Windows XP and you should find a link to matpills.com. Scroll down a bit and you'll find the appropriate code to copy. The first bit is found in your NVIDIA file under nvidia underscore devices dot ntx86.5.1. The easiest thing to do is copy that from the website and then in Notepad open the Find option and paste in the copied text. Hit Enter and you go straight to the right section. Now, from the website copy all the lines for the hardware IDs, make a new line in the file under the heading, and then right click then paste in your text. I don't know if it's necessary, but I then tidy it a bit by removing the blank lines. Next. Go down a bit further on the website and you have another block to copy and paste in. In the file you now want to look for a section with the square brackets called strings. So search for that, then same as before, copy from the website and paste into the file under the strings header. Again, not sure if it makes a difference, but I suggest pasting it in just before the first hardware ID. That's it. Go to File, click on Save and there are your modified drivers. If you go up one level in the folder structure you will find a setup file, and if you've copied this over to your XP machine and run it, you should now be installing your graphics card drivers. So all done and relatively painless, and now you can play all your XP games set to the highest they can go. Right, as I said in my last video, my next will be about my ultimate XP machine. 
obviously my last video lied because this is my next video from that one. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next one. Bye.